The first plastics feature we're going to talk about will be draft. There are several ways to create draft. Let's take a look at some of them. The first way is to create a sketch that contains the draft. So if you have a rectangle, you would need to delete a vertical relationship on one side, vertical relationship on the other side. That allows these two sides to both angle, but you want them to angle symmetrically. So we'll grab a construction line, go from the center or the midpoint of one line to the midpoint of the other line, and then add a vertical relationship. Then I'll apply an angle. Typical draft angle is maybe three to five degrees, so we'll say this is 85 degrees and then apply dimension here and a height. Now this gives you draft in one direction, but there are situations where maybe we needed draft in a direction other than the direction in which we were able to sketch. So I'm going to create a new part to demonstrate starting from a straight block. I'm not going to put any dimensions on this. I'm just going to create the block. Using this, we can draft it however we want. And we will have draft as a separate feature, so we can turn it on or off if we need to. There are appropriate times to use draft in a sketch and appropriate times to use draft as a feature because it's easier to fix if it fails. And in general, it's just a little more powerful. The basic kind of draft is called neutral plane, and so that means that any draft from a given face will either add or remove material. The arrow indicates the direction of pull, so you can think about a steel die being around this part and pulling straight up. In order for the part to release from the steel die, this face has to angle out as it goes down. So that's what the significance of this arrow is. You can change the direction of the arrow in two different ways. One is by just clicking on the arrow, and the second is by using the reverse direction option in the property manager. Faces the draft. I'm just going to click the outer faces of the part. So and I'll put an exaggerated draft on here, say 10 degrees. Draft does not allow you to use a preview. So you just have to try it out. If you select these two faces, you've got an angle of 100 degrees. If you use Tools Measure, you've got an angle of 100 degrees there as well. You could go back and edit the draft and change the direction. This removes material as it goes down. Typically in the plastics industry, when you apply draft, draft should remove material from the plastic part. So when you talk about the thickness of a rib or the thickness of a wall, you should be talking about the maximum thickness of the wall, and then the draft will remove material. Let's take a look at the other types of draft that are available in the draft feature. There's parting plane and step draft. To demonstrate these, I'm just going to start another new part. I'm just going to sketch a rectangle and extrude it. Now I'm going to sketch a line on this face. It comes across at an angle. And use the split line feature that we've seen before. When we were talking about fillets, we use split lines to create hold lines for a face fillet. This split line allows me to add edges into the model right where I need them. And in this case, I'm going to apply draft from those edges. This will be a parting line draft, and I'll stick with the 10 degrees. The direction of pull could either be a model face, or you could use one of the planes of the model. The parting lines are these split lines that I've created. And notice now we have two sets of arrows. We have 
the direction of pull arrow, and then we also have the face selection arrow. These arrows can be changed by using the other face toggle, but in this case we want all of the faces to the top of the split line and we want the direction of pull to be straight up. So SolidWorks will decrease the material from the parting line. The parting line will remain where it is and the faces will angle in. That's the parting line draft. To get the draft to go the other direction for the other side of the part, you need to create a second feature. SolidWorks does not allow you to create draft in both directions in a single feature. So this time we'll use a plane to establish the direction of pull and we have to flip the direction parting lines. Notice that the face selection arrows automatically point in the same direction as the direction of pull. When we apply this draft, you can see what happens. You can apply draft even if you have a curved parting line. So the parting line doesn't have to be perpendicular to the direction of pull. The last type of draft that we want to take a look at here is called step draft. Step draft is a little more complicated. Let's again start with a simple block. Step draft is fairly rare, but sometimes you have a parting line that moves across the part. So we'll have a parting line here, and then there's a step in the parting line, and it comes across. Again, we'll use the split line and select the four faces. And now we'll create the step draft. Direction of pull, straight up. Parting lines, this, this, and this. The step draft actually creates a mismatch at the parting line. If we wanted the draft in both directions to match at a particular place, we could have set up the draft slightly different, but we would need to create another plane. I would use the plane tool to create a plane that's parallel to the top at this point. Notice I've rolled this back before the draft feature. Now I'll unroll the draft and edit the definition. And the direction of pull will now be this plane instead of the face. And notice now that there is no ledge at this point. So wherever you place the plane will be the neutral plane for that draft. On this same model, I want to also show that you can still do parting line draft even if you have a stepped parting line and you don't need a special plane for the direction of pull. Just go around and select the edges. Now this works a little differently. The result is significantly different. Notice that SolidWorks with a parting line draft on a moving parting line breaks up the main face and the step draft keeps the main face intact. So that's the main difference between the step draft and the parting line draft.